For some reason, I always like to darken my makeup for winter, so it looks a bit more daring or dramatic. This winter look is inspired by porcelain dolls, and it's all about the makeup looking matte, sophisticated, yet beautiful. Let's start. Using my favorite drugstore concealer, I'm going to cover up these bad boys. I'm using a shade of a yellow undertone because it will help to neutralize the purple. This makes the dark circles less obvious. Because this look is all about being matte, I'm going to be using my Shiseido Maculage Powdery Foundation. It's very hydrating but also has beautiful, beautiful matte coverage. By the way, bear with me guys, I'm still a little sick. Anyways, eyebrows. Because this look is darker than how I would normally apply my makeup, I'm going to have them looking darker as well. A subtle way to intensify your eyebrows is to just simply apply powder over your ordinary lined eyebrows. Matte eyeshadows don't apply as smoothly and as pigmented as shimmer shadows, so prime the eyelids so the color shows up better and so it glides better as well. So now with a matte plum eyeshadow, I'm patting the color all over my eyelid. I'm just following the natural contour of my eye socket because this is how high the color should go up to. So for now, don't worry about it being neat or anything, we're going to fix that later. With this medium brown matte eyeshadow, I'm going to soften out the plum color. So I'm just using a fluffy blending brush and working in windshield wiping motions. This creates a gradient effect so the color would eventually bleed upwards until it fades off. I'm usually very light with my makeup but for some reason I like to darken up my makeup for winter. Brown is a very warm color and it always looks so sophisticated on anybody. I'm going to create more gradient with this lighter brown matte eyeshadow and you can see I'm applying it higher because the color is kind of light and you guys can also see I'm keeping the shade brown by following the natural curve of my eye. The layering technique is pretty easy to do and a great thing about it is that it suits all eye shapes, especially for monolids. Now with this matte peach eyeshadow, I am highlighting the bright bone while softening out the edges so the color fades upwards and outwards. Dipping a damp brush into a very black matte eyeshadow, I'm lining my eyes in gentle dabbing strokes. This darkens the eyes beautifully because it looks much softer than gel or liquid liners. As you can see, I'm darkening the upper lash line first before working downwards so the eyes appear elongated and wider. So you guys can see I've created a B shape on this eye and I'm just going to repeat the same technique on my other eye. Alrighty, now I'm taking the plum eyeshadow and softening out the lower lash line. This balances out the eyes and makes the eyes appear rounder. So after I went back to my black matte powder and I'm darkening my lash line again just so my eyes look even darker. And here I'm using a liquid liner only on the edges so it looks more defined. So then afterwards you can just go ahead and apply mascara but I just felt like my eyes needed a little boost so I applied false lashes. Final step for the eyes is to apply a little white eyeshadow on the inner corners because it really helps make the eyes pop. I must have said this like a billion times. <laughs> For a porcelain doll effect, I'm using a matte bronzer to create a contoured and defined face. It also really complements the eyes as well. So as you can see, I'm applying the color under the cheekbones and blending it into the hairline. I'm also concentrating the color on my jawline and temples for an even contoured look. So now to really complement the contoured face, I'm applying this cranberry blush on my cheekbones. A little fluorescent pop of colour is all you'll need and it gives a beautiful sophisticated look for winter. Now to really complement the look, I'm applying this mauve lipstick on my lips. You can go for darker shades of plum if you wish, but I'm not so brave. So here you guys can see me highlight my lips with a little bit of concealer. This just helps to make the color appear more vibrant so the lips stand out more. I also highlight it around my nose as well so my expression lines appear more faded. To finish the look off, I decided to darken my eyebrows even more so they look more stronger. So now this look is complete. 
This matte look is sophisticated, mysterious, yet beautiful. It's different from how I would normally wear my makeup, but winter gives me the perfect excuse to be a bit more daring this year. I also just want to wish everybody a happy new year. May we build loads of happy memories for 2012. Time for little me to go to bed night, so good night world.